QuickBooks Desktop 2023 Report, Fonts, and Numbers Formatting. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop Sample Rock Castle Construction Practice File provided by QuickBooks. Going through the setup process we do every time, maximizing the homepage to the gray area. View drop down, we're noting that we have the hide icon bar and the open windows list ticked off, checked off. Open windows on the left hand side. Reports drop down, company and financial. Looking at that PNL to start off with, tab. 0101242123124 tab January through December that is customize now this is what we're going to be focusing on more in this particular presentation but this is the standard setup process fonts and numbers change the font we've been bringing it on up to 12 okay yes and okay then opening up the other report reports drop down company and financial this being the balance sheet standard I'm going to change the date this time by hitting the drop down fiscal year and then customize it once again go into the fonts and numbers change in the font to 12 okay yes okay that's the setup process we've been doing every time so far in prior presentations we've been taking a look at the options to adjust the reports in the ribbon and now we're going through the customized reports items here and we're looking at the fonts and numbers so this is the one these are going to be the formatting tools which are available not just on the balance sheet but pretty much all the reports that we've been using to increase the font size it's there along with some other tools so let's see what we have customize the report up top we're going to go to the fonts and numbers so we got on the left hand side this is going to give us a kind of a, a label of which of the fonts that we're going to be dealing with it could be a little bit confusing to apply these out because you have to have an idea of what quickbooks is calling each of these line items so that you're selecting the specific area and then we can change the fonts of them changing the font here you could change the style we can change the size we could strike out we can underline these are probably familiar types of tools that you could see in like a microsoft word or something like that we got the drop down and we can change the color now we don't have as many options here as you would have in like excel or microsoft word but you got a a nice little array of options that you could use to customize the reports within quickbooks note that you could do further customization on like a whole lot of customization once you export so if you wanted to export the reports to excel now you've got all the customizations within excel the problem with then formatting something in excel is that you cannot as easily standardize that formatting you would have to reformat in excel every time you want to basically do that extensive formatting to a report any kind of formatting that you can do within QuickBooks can be beneficial because then you can save and memorize the report so that you can open up a similar report, change the date range and have the similar kind of formatting that will be applied. So I'll get back to like testing a few of these out in a second here. Uh, just also note that if you wanted to apply this formatting to everything, as we've been seeing in the past, when you hit OK, notice it, it always goes to this change all related fonts. That's what we've been doing. We've been saying yes. If you hit no, then it's just going to change the report data here. So you got to kind of be aware of that. So we've always been selecting whatever the default is on the left hand side and then saying I want to change all related fonts to 12 and it applied it to the whole report as opposed to just in this case, the report data. We'll get back to that in a second. I'm going to cancel that for now. And then on the right hand side, we've got the show negative numbers. 
we can show negative numbers with a with just a negative here. Let's see if we have any negative numbers. I'm going to hit OK. Do we have here's a negative number in accumulated depreciation. So if I change that, we can customize the report and say I want to see it in parentheses. That gives it a little bit more of an emphasis. I kind of like that better personally to see it because it stands out a bit. Customize and report. If we want it to stand out even more, we can put make it red, right? So now it's negative numbers are red and parentheses. Going back here again, fonts and numbers. We can then say that we want to have the negative on the other side, which I don't usually use, but that might be something depending on where you are located that you're more, more comfortable seeing possibly. And then we can revert back to the original by hitting revert. That brings us back to where we were, where we started from. Then we've got divide by 1000. So if I divide by 1000, I'm just going to take all the numbers and divide them by 1000. So I'm going to say enter. Hold on a sec. Did I click it? I'm not sure I clicked it. I got to click it first and then enter or OK. So now it says up here accrued accrual basis dollars in thousands. So if you have a, a report that's fairly large in nature, dividing it by a thousand could be a, a useful tool. And because then then obviously you have a, a smaller report. So for example, if you had a report that was in millions or something like that, eliminating a few zeros typically will not decrease the usability of the report because you're still um, you still have enough enough decimal points out or enough zeros out to make decisions on your rounding in essence and make it a more readable type of report. So this says 47 point something a uh, thousand like you could remove the decimal too if you wanted to. So I could go up top and go to the fonts and numbers. Let's change the font size back to 12. OK, yes. And then I'm going to say if I want to say without sense now without sense here is basically removing the decimal, which would be 47 point in this like 17.9 thousand. If I want to remove the point nine, I can do that. So now it rounds to 18. So there we have that. I can go to the customized reports again and I could revert back, but I'm going to change the font back up to 12 again. OK, OK. So then we can say we want to exempt zero amounts. So if we had zero amounts in the reports, some reports might already remove the zero amounts. But if they don't, you know, you can exempt the zeros. If you bring it back to the original here, notice we have pennies. So notice you might say, hey, look, I don't want to divide it by a thousand. That's too much rounding. But maybe I don't need the pennies. That might be quite common because maybe, you know, the pennies can add more more distortion to the report more information and they're probably not useful for decision making purposes so you might say especially if you're going to give the report to someone outside for reading purposes instead of for internal use you might say i'm going to remove the pennies i want it to ha make sense but not have sense right so you're going to say take the pennies off makes it a little bit cleaner of a report to be looking at so then let's go back up top then you can get into the fonts and numbers and look at some of these things that are going to be specific to line to a particular line items like the colors and so on. Now notice that a little of this formatting can kind of go a long way. I'm not an expert at fonts, for example, example or or color codings and, and so on. But as a bookkeeper, if you do some of these kind of changes, like if you were to to remove the pennies even or make the bracketed numbers red or something like that, that could differentiate you as a QuickBooks bookkeeper, making your reports a little bit more customizable, making you stand out a little bit in a good way. You can go over the top, you can go overboard on it, but that can be useful. Some of the other things we looked at as well, like, like the displays uh, and uh, the, the headers and footers in particular, like if you renamed the reports, different names, like an income statement, you might rename it as, or the profit and loss, you might restame, rename it as an income statement if you think that that would be preferable. Those kind of things can stand out uh, and be fairly easy to do, fairly easy to memorize once done. So let's do a couple of these. If we've got the, the column labels, so if I'm gonna select just the column labels here and say we wanna change those, we can have the font, so I can change the font of them. Let's try to use a bold one. You don't have as many fonts here as you do with with like a Microsoft Word, but you have you know a few fonts here. We've got this one, it says condensed. Let's use that 
first, I'm going to say OK. And this time it says change all fonts. I'm going to say no this time. I don't want to change all fonts. I just want to change the one I'm on, which is the column label. So I'm going to say no. It gives me the example here. And then if I change them, we could see the change to the column. So I had the rows, the column label. And so you can see that looks a little ugly the way it's clashing with the other fonts. But again, if you knew what you were doing, then you could you could practice these kind of formatting tools. Going to go back into it. If I had the row labels this time, let's go to the row labels. And so we keep that at Arial, but you might say that you're going you're gonna to increase the size of the row labels, let's say to 18 or something, just to make it a little bit exaggerated. We'll say, okay. And then again, I don't want to apply it to everything. I just want to apply it to these fonts that are the row labels. So I'm going to say no on that one and then okay. So now we've got the row labels. Notice that I was thinking it was going to apply just to the labels, but it, every row is a row label. So now you've got the row labels are higher than the numbers, which it looks again, looks really funny. You would have to experiment with these kind of things, but we'll go back on over fonts and numbers just to just to show a couple of these things the company name now the company name might be something that you you might want as a different color say your colors are red or something like that you could change the name of the of the title up top so i could say okay i want to change that and let's play this time with down here and make that red so that's going to be red and then you might even want it bigger you might say the company name needs to be huge we'll make it 28 so okay and then again, no, because I wanted to apply just to the company name and say, OK, so there we have that. So again, I'm not an expert at this. So this looks quite ugly, but you could you could get an idea of what's going on here. And if you are an expert like the the guy that was the Apple's founder uh, was, of course, an, an expert at this kind of stuff, right? Making everything aesthetically nice. Again, it could stand out a lot if you are good at these kind of things and once you get it set up the way you want you can you can memorize your report so it'll set that way whenever you go into it you can really make things stand out if you know what you're doing in any case let's then go like to another one let's just say the date and you can apply these like if i wanted to strike out the date for example i don't know why you would want to do that but you have that option okay no okay so then it's got that line through you got the same with the underline so if i customize Go to the fonts and numbers. Let's just take a look at the report subtitle this time and then change it. And let's say we want to underline it for whatever reason. Okay, no, okay. So now we've got an underline there. So you, you've got to, like I say, no, nowhere near the options of customizations as if you were to export it to Excel, but you got a pretty fair amount of customization and a little bit goes a long way when you're doing especially if you're doing your own bookkeeping and trying to make your own kind of uh, look and feel to the reports if you customize some of the names as appropriate and you customize the look and feel you make the fonts you know something that you think is characteristic of you and or things that you think the customer would like aesthetically even though it has no impact on the financials again that can that stuff can go along uh, way and you can memorize those reports so that you don't have to do it every time if you want to further customize like i say you could export to excel where you have a whole bunch of of customization options but then you would have to recustomize it every time generally because you'd have to export the report and then do the customizations there for any added customizations you would want to do